Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's David here and uh, just giving you another update. Uh, in my last video I was actually feeling pretty good, wasn't I, if you remember. I was just mentioning how I finished my first week of treatment and I was feeling really good. Unfortunately today I'm not. I really had a really rough weekend. Basically in bed all day yesterday and uh, today I've gone for my first radiation treatment and I've just been in bed all day again. Yeah, I've just, just been feeling really exhausted. Uh, I had a lot of water retention. You could see in my ankles they were really swollen. I put on a lot of weight. I was up to 103 kilograms. I mean, my normal weight's about 94, 95. And uh, we just got word from a friend that, they're, that they've tested positive with COVID, unfortunately. So we are actually wondering if that's got something to do with it. Maybe if I have COVID right now, I don't know. We're actually about to go. I'm gonna get tested to see if I have COVID. And uh, might explain a few things because I've just been feeling terrible. This morning we, we went to McDonald's because I just wasn't tasting anything. I thought, I just, just want to eat something that I'm going to enjoy. So I went and got some hash browns and uh, a wrap from McDonald's and I just, yeah, couldn't taste it. It just tasted terrible. So I know that's one of the symptoms. At first I thought it was related to, I guess, my chemotherapy drugs, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's related to COVID. So yeah, who knows? I'm, I'm a little bit worried because uh, obviously uh, with COVID, people who are immunocompromised uh, have worse outcomes. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of a concern right now. But, you know, I'm going to get tested. I feel okay. I don't feel like I'm going to die right now, but I just feel super tired. So, we better go find out what's going on. Right. It's the next day and false alarm, guys. No COVID. I got my test results and come back negative, which is good, I guess. I don't really want to get COVID right now. Still doesn't explain why I'm yeah, feeling the way I am. The other thing is Elisa's feeling the same and Elisa's sister, they're both feeling pretty sick. So, yeah, maybe it's just some bug going around and we're just super tired and have similar symptoms to COVID. But yeah, I went and just finished my, my second treatment for the week. Feeling all right now because I've, I've been in bed basically for three days. So, yeah, feeling a little bit better right now. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Right, guys, day three of week two and it's been another ridiculous amount of time in bed. Last night I went to bed at like 6 p.m. and I woke up maybe 4 a.m. just for an hour or two and then went back to bed. And I didn't wake up this morning till it must have been 8.30, 9 o'clock. And I just still feel really tired and exhausted. So, yeah. I'm assuming it's this bug we got or maybe it's my reaction to the chemo. I don't know. Got a little bit of energy right now, so we're gonna to try to go for a walk. I got my treatment in a few hours, so we're gonna go for a little walk. Here's my family, they're all coming for a walk with us. You guys ready for a walk? Yeah, they're ready, all right. <laughs> we almost finished our walk, and I just wanted to say, I'm feeling so much better after that walk, and I guess this is a really good reminder just to try to do those things that, you know, make your body feel good. Uh, exercising is really good for you, and, uh, I love exercising and getting out with the family and we just spent some time at the park and it was great. Uh, the kids had an ice cream and a soft drink and stuff and they had a lot of fun and had a little play on the playground. Okay. And yeah, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Yeah. And I was just going to say, Because yeah. Elise has been sick as well. Like she, she was feeling really down yesterday and the day before, weren't she? Mm, and, yes. and, and her sister. So you feeling right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say that it's, um, not only important, you know, for David and, you know, even for me, just to keep moving and stuff. Not just for your body, but for your mental health as well. Um, it really helps to be out in the fresh air and in the sun and just, yeah, spending time as a family. And, yeah. and not yeah. getting booked down at home within four walls. So we're having a good moment. Mm. The last few days have been pretty crappy, so I <laughs> thought we'd just share that. Yeah, anyway. I'm going for my treatment in about an hour. I might just pick up this video tomorrow. Right. See ya. It's now Friday and I didn't actually film the last couple of days. I just was so busy. Uh, we had a few things going on and I also actually bought a new car. So I was pretty busy getting that done. Treatment for the week is done. I'm feeling better today. Uh, it has been a tough week. I've been very tired. My throat is starting to hurt as well. The doctors gave me some magic mouthwash and that's working pretty good. It does I guess numb the pain a little bit, but just yeah, feeling tired, uh, which I guess is to be expected. I also had another COVID test done yesterday. The doctors just wanted to make sure that I didn't have COVID because of the close contact that I had. 
and that just came back this morning negative so yeah I must, mustn't have got COVID which is good obviously <laughs> so yeah I just want to thank everyone again for all your support uh, yeah I've, I'm overwhelmed by all the comments I'm getting on these videos it's really helping me get through this so thank you keep them coming and uh, yeah, I hope to see you on the next video uh, if you haven't yet please subscribe and uh, yeah, follow along for this journey all right. thanks everyone see you in the next one Oh, by the way, we're at the Qatar National Museum. We've got Elisa's sister here, and we're just showing her around. And uh, this is yeah, one of the most popular spots to come in Qatar. It's a really beautiful museum, which we're going to check out now. All right, see ya.